Welcome into the news portion of DSI. I'm Jordan Kudish. Now we start tonight in Maryland where it looks like relief is on the way for its residents. Now, according to Governor Larry Hogan, the General Assembly has given the final approval for the Relief Act of 2021. Now that act will bring more than a billion dollars in tax relief and economic stimulus. That's to struggling families and small businesses in the state. Officials say it will also help Marylanders who are barely hanging on right now as everyone works to bring the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic to an end. Governor Hogan says in part, quote, I look forward to signing this legislation so that we can get much needed relief out the door and into the pockets of those who desperately need it. Well, today the Maryland Senate joined the House in the final step to override the governor's veto of the blueprint for Maryland's future. Now, if you didn't know, the move officially launches the state's plan to fund education and raise academic achievement. Now, we're told the plan will ensure that every student in every neighborhood has an equally funded and strong educator workforce in their public school. The plan also includes hiring more teachers, raising their pay and making investments to increase access to pre-kindergarten for low income three and all four year olds. In a statement, Dr. Britt Kerwan, the chairman of the plan, said, quote, as a result of today's override, desperately needed resources will now flow to the schools and children across the state. Well, today the Internal Revenue Service started accepting tax returns. Now, you may be asking, it's a little too early, but it's actually later than usual. Typically, you can file in the second half of January, though many people don't necessarily have documents by then. The IRS had to delay things this year because it dedicated resources to the second round of economic relief payments late last year. Now, despite the delay, that deadline to file is still the same. That's April 15th. And now you can actually get a six month extension if you ask before then. But if you owe taxes, they are due in April no matter what. Now also beware if you received jobless benefits this year and you didn't have federal tax withheld from the payments, then you could owe Uncle Sam. And with that, we're going to end the news portion and toss things over to Chief Meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Thank you very much, Jordan. It is a cold night tonight. Temperatures near freezing. A live look on the boardwalk in Ocean City. A little bit of snow left over on the edges of the boardwalk if you look closely. But overall, most of the snow has melted. But look at this gorgeous shot from Janet in Snow Hill earlier today. She had a few inches of snow on the ground. So really beautiful winter scenery uh, through the morning hours. But now we're going to be dealing with the chance for ice overnight tonight. Freezing rain is a possibility, especially tomorrow morning. With temperatures near freezing and below freezing, that is not what you want to see ahead of moisture. Also, you don't want to see this dew points this low. So again, we show you dew points in the summertime to give you an idea of all the moisture, how uncomfortable uh, and humid the atmosphere is. But in the wintertime, we look at these numbers to give you an idea at how cold it could get. And also, it goes to show you again with those temperatures with precipitation falling, that means the temperatures will drop to the dew point. So with temperatures as cold as or dew points as cold as 20 in Easton, as it precipitates, that dew point will begin to climb. But with 20 degrees, that is well below freezing. So it's going to take a while for those northern zones with dew points that cold to warm up. Hopefully I'm explaining that for you to understand. The colder, the lower the dew point, the better the chance you're going to see frozen precipitation. And you can see that to our southwest already crossing the Virginia border towards Richmond. Richmond is about to have an ice storm. Dew points even lower there, and you're going to see this system climb the coast, and it will start as a wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain, even here in Salisbury late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Winter weather advisories in effect because of that. Now for tonight, a little bit of freezing drizzle, not a big deal tonight. It's tomorrow morning and early afternoon where we are a bit concerned with that freezing rain. The good news is we climb above freezing later in the afternoon, so it'll change to plain rain but it will be slippery. Please be safe. Futurecast times it out by six, seven in the morning tomorrow. A patch of freezing drizzle and rain over Salisbury and the mid shore continues to be freezing rain through the uh, early afternoon, especially for the mid shore and areas north. That's where we're the most concerned for wintry weather. Then we dry out by Sunday. So again, the mid shore, that's the area that could see the heaviest ice accumulation. Most of this will ac accumulate on the trees, the grass, your cars, the sidewalks, maybe some streets, so it will be icy. Just a 0.05 a glaze of ice or so 
in Salisbury, but still it could cause slippery conditions across Delmarva. <sighs> One of the nastiest seven days I've put together in a while. Temperatures in the 40s with rain almost every single day. You're watching DSI. Keep it here. We'll be right back. I'm TJ Gibson from Delmar High School. You're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.